Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your next 48 for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. So we're going to start off with an affirmation for the next 48 for you. Okay, these are quirky affirmations, but very relevant. All right, let's see. What's the messages here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in, in the North Node? Okay, Scorpio, next 48. Okay. Talk to the hamsa. So a ham somebody could do henna tattoos or whatever. It says because I'm done listening. Yeah, talk to the hand because I'm done listening. So you don't want to hear I see you putting your hand in someone's face or they're doing this to you. You don't want to hear shit. Okay. Peace, love, and yoga pants. Okay. Oh, and fuzzy slippers. All right. So yoga pants or do yoga or you do yoga or somebody does. Let's see. What's the messages here for Scorpio? Next 48. Sun Moon Rising Venus North Moon. Scorpio. Sun Moon Rising Venus in the North Node for Scorpio. Sun Moon Rising Venus in the North Node for Scorpio. Sun Moon Rising Venus in North Node for Scorpio. One flipped over. I don't know where it went. Let's try to find it. Okay, here it is. The number 31. All right. It says, um, so you can see this number in the next 48. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is staring with creative ideas and you have the organization of skills to manifest in the life. I am disciplined. Okay, overall energy is 8-8. Eight, eight. You are on the cups of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy, period. So a spiritual path here, you are, um, okay, and I have great leadership skills here and in genius. So there's somebody here very abundant and very much a genius. They have very much great leader skills. Someone's very creative. This is you or somebody that, that you are dealing with. You pick who it is or what it is or whatever. Okay, so let's see Scorpio next 48, all right? Scorpio next 48 for Scorpio and someone rising Venus in the North Node. Clarify this thing that's here. Yeah, talk to the hand. You don't want to hear it, period. Okay, or somebody doesn't want to hear your shit. What's the messages for Scorpio next 48? Someone rising Venus in North Node. What is this? First card out, the magician. Here we go. It's just the energy I felt off of it. That's why I said that. Yeah, the judgment is here. So I feel like manifesting something, taking action here, Scorpio, could be an Aries. Uh, you could be an Aries or have, I mean, you can have Aries highly aspected. Okay, but the magician card, so doing spell work. Okay, you're doing spell work here is what I'm feeling like. All right, yeah, the judgment, but I will be careful because the judgment is here. This is the higher ups judging it, looking at you, watching. So whatever you're trying to do, be, be make sure you're okay. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. This seems that that's an aggressive card. That's an attack. So you could be attacking someone with spell work here, okay? Or someone's attacking you. You pick what side of the shit you're on. All right, so let's see what the magician is for Scorpio. So we already know what Scorpio on. What's the magician? What's the magician? All right. We have the three of wands, so energy work. So you could be manifesting something that to happen in the future, or you could be doing energy work on someone, or someone's doing it to you. Yeah, we have the king to the queen of swords, a match, and judgment. All right. So maybe you're trying to get some, maybe someone's your intellectual match, or this is somebody you could be married to that you don't really even get along with. The king and queen of swords, they're a match, but they don't get along that well. It's very cold energy. Yeah, we have the death. Here you are, Scorpio. Okay. So maybe you're manifesting that. Yeah, the tower, there you are. You're manifesting a death or a tower in the future for someone or, or an ending or a breakup or something. Yeah, the nine of wands. Okay. It could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio cuffs, but, or, 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 there's something, yeah, the five, there it is, man. There it is. That's why I felt that energy off the magician. There it is. We got the five of pentacles now. Somebody on this petty shit, this low vibe shit. So somebody's fighting or this is something online. Someone's jealous or hateful. Someone, Someone's attacking someone or someone's on some fuck shit. What's the five of wands? What's the five of wands? Someone's on that fuckery. 
What's the five of wands? Doing all kinds of um, fuck shit. You had a fool card. Okay. All right. The fool is doing something new. Um, there could be jealousy because someone's doing something new or whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, the two of cups. Or new love or meeting someone new or maybe you're visiting a new place, maybe in another city and you're meeting someone new. Or you're or, or someone's jealous that you have love here or you're or something. Yeah, the page of swords and the strength with the four of wands and four of pentacles. All right, let's see. Yeah, this has something to do. Yeah, the six of wands. Or that someone's free or unencumbered or someone's doing something new. Yeah, the ace of cups or new love or, or something. Something about new love or a relationship or being successful. Yeah, the ace of cups wants to keep showing up. So this is new love. What's the five of wands and the magician? Because this looks like this could possibly be some kind of uh, chaos magic. Yeah, there it is. The justice. So whatever this is you're doing, justice is here. All right. So I will be very damn how that card go all the way over there. Good I would have to get up with me, Scorpio. Okay. Let's see. All right. Yep. Damn. And judgment. Yikes. So justice and judgment. You're being judged. The scales are going to be balanced. Whatever this attack is you're doing, this hateful shit on somebody's love life or on somebody's success or whatever this is you're trying to cause. Because I saw the tower here too. And the death. That's your energy. Yeah. The empress could be a Libra. Somebody that's very beautiful, somebody that sits very well, somebody that's successful, somebody that, that is very much loved, could be very, the Ace of Cups can be somebody very spiritual. What's the justice and the judgment here? Libra, yeah. What other signs? Aries, somebody could be a Libra, Aries, or yeah, we have um, Aquarius here too. All right, so what's the justice and the judgment? So here's the, ju the, the the universe is judging you here for whatever this chaos magic is, these attacks or magic you're doing to somebody. Yeah, seven of wands, five of cups, you're going to be disappointed because something's going to backfire or you're going to realize just how protected somebody is or powerful someone is. Wait, what's the justice and the judgment? Yeah, you keep, yeah, you're getting judged for attacking someone. Nine of swords, maybe their money with the ten of pentacles. Yeah, eight of swords, you're trying to sabotage someone's money. Yeah. You're trying to take someone, you're trying to take someone from the Ten of Pentacles, um, very abundant, the Max Pentacles in the deck, doing very well, could be possibly be very financially well off, a millionaire or on the way to uh, sabotaging that, keeping them stuck and bringing them down to the Five of Pentacles. So this is what you're doing, trying to affect someone's money. You're a bitch made. If you're a man, you're gay. You like dick up your weird ass, weirdo. Yeah, we got nine of wands. Now you're threatened or, you, or you're or you irritated because somebody's status. Yeah, they're the star. Okay, it's making more sense. It's the nine of cups. They get what they want. Or yeah, these attacks or whatever the fuck you're doing, this is going to come to an abrupt end. Yeah, you're trying to take, yeah, the t ace of pentacles, ten of cups. Wow, someone's very abundant, very happy. Someone's doing their thing and you're trying to ruin that. Or this is someone doing this to you. You pick what side of the shit you're on. But I saw death tower with the magician and the five of wands. It feels like it's your energy doing this. You're doing energy work on someone. Someone that's at a distance from you. Yeah, because they're beautiful. They're single. They're self-sufficient. The empress is the most beautiful in the um, deck and, and the highest. Okay, of over all the queens. Next to the nine of pentacles, they have a perfect body or you're attracted to them. Okay. So you're, but I, I like this. The justice and judgment is here. You're going to get yours. You best to believe that. So you're trying to put somebody in the Ten of Pentacles or trap someone or have someone homeless, or you try, you keep trying to put somebody in a loop of homelessness because you are, that's not going to work. Okay. We got the seven of swords here. That's not the seven of wands. That's the seven of swords. Yeah. You keep trying to infiltrate trick or, 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 or steal something from somebody or you did or whatever this is. It's Okay. Yeah, this is a bad choice, two of swords. That's a bad choice. Yeah, the ten of swords. Something's going to come to an abrupt end. Someone's going to be broken down to nothing. If this is you doing it, it's going to be you. I can promise you that. What is the nine of wands? Yeah, because someone's a star. They, they seem to be getting their wishes. They're successful. They're inspiring. They're, they're very much blessed and covered or favored. And somebody doesn't like that or you don't like it or whatever. I feel like a card, a card flipped over, but I can't find it, so... If I see it, okay. What's the nine of wands? Someone's insecure. Somebody, somebody's insecure. You are. What's the nine of wands? 
Somebody's hateful and they like to fucking compete. Yeah, we have the three of swords. Yeah, somebody's offended. You're offended by what somebody says or you're offended by what somebody's doing. So you want to uh, cause them... Yeah, the justice and judgment is here. Soon as you, this five of wands and magicians came out. So whatever spell work you're doing around the full moon on this person, they know. Whatever the fuck you're doing, their guides know, the higher ups know, everybody know they're watching you and you're going to get it. You, you, instead of this person being in this, you're going to be in the five of pentacles. You're going to be stuck there. Okay? This person is not. So you could do whatever the fuck you want to do. Th th this person is chosen. And, and there's nothing that's going to happen to them. It's not destined. It's, it's not. You keep trying to put the struggle on somebody that the struggle don't need to be on. What did I just tell you? The world. That's the cycle's complete. Somebody has been initiated. Somebody is an initiate. The fool in the world. You can no longer do anything to, to try to harm them or put them. They will never be broke again. They will never struggle again. That is not their destiny. So you could try it and you could keep doing it, but 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 this this person will get the front row seat to your fucking karma. You won't see nothing happen to them. But them progress and keep doing what they do. Yeah, now somebody's worried. Nine of swords, nine of wands. I feel like somebody's worried. Yeah, the sun, the ace of wands, because you're doing something new or because of your yeah, I, I feel like somebody takes someone else's success as a personal attack on them. The more successful somebody um, gets or the more somebody does, somebody gets scared and they shake and they do this wicked shit and then they suffer. They're in ill health. They don't have no money or this is what's going to happen. They're stuck and trapped and you want to see somebody else like this because you're offended by what somebody said. Who gives a fuck? Stop watching them. The fuck you mean? Stop stalking them. Stop all of that shit, bitch. You're trying to block or keep somebody from having something. That shit is going to end. You're not going to keep attacking this person. In whichever way universe feels fit, it needs to be done. Yeah, the eight of wands, they're going to still progress. You're trying to hold up and delay somebody's progression with the hangman. Pisces energy here. Leo energy here. Libra energy here. Aquarius energy here. Okay, we got Aries all right, you're trying to you you're trying to prevent somebody's progression and it's not going to work. Somebody is successful, somebody is the star, somebody is a winner, somebody is it just is what it is and they're going to be that. Somebody's going to shine bright like a diamond. So you can't let go of, you're still holding on to something somebody said that offended you. Fuck you and your feelings. If you can't handle how somebody, uh, what somebody's saying and how they feel, don't watch them, don't talk to them, don't deal with them, period. But you're not going to change their destiny, bitch. And that, that I can, hey, I, I can put that on everything. All right. Yeah, we got the four of wands here. All right. Yeah, because somebody's on stage or they're progressive or they're winning. Yeah, they're very attractive or you're getting good news. Yeah, regarding your work. Something, yeah, the Six of Pentacles, you're being patronized, taken care of, supported by the universe, spoiled, and all that. Yeah, the Tower, here's your energy, Scorpio. Yeah, and the Five of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants to, you're trying to cause the Tower, and somebody's trying to cause everything to end, but then your, your hand is in your head. You feel defeated. You feel like a loser. And, and that's exactly what you are if you're doing this, especially if you're doing this to a female, because this is, yeah, the Seven of Wands, there's a backfire. It's going to backfire. This is a bad decision. Two of Swords. Somebody's a double Libra. Justice, Two of Swords are both Libra cards. Two of Swords is an eye for an eye. That's the miniature Justice card. This is the miniature one. This is the major. And so an eye for an eye. What you put out to this person is going to come back to you. Not only, but I'm hearing like 10,000 fold. Like real bad. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. This is going to end abruptly. These attacks, this whatever you're doing is going to be over with. It's going to be deaded. By the universe, you whatever you're doing, this is a really, really bad choice. Or you made a bad fucking choice. Yeah, you really did or you're going to. All right. So you pick what side of the shit you're on. This person's not doing anything but living their life, living in their, their, their. But this is somebody you're in love with. Who else got this? Aquarius. So you can have Aquarius highly aspected. You're in love with somebody. Could be Capricorn or a Sagittarius. OK, but you could be in love with somebody, but you, you're, you're, you're actually in love with somebody. You actually want a relationship with them, but you hate them. You're annoyed by them. They get under your skin. They're powerful. They're strong. They're beautiful. They, they're, they're perfect. They have this great body. They work out. They do yoga or they do Pilates. They go. They just take care of themselves. They have the successful business they're running. Yeah. And you're mad about it. Yeah. The devil card. So you obsessively watch them. Page of swords. Yeah. The strength card because somebody's strong and they're sexy too. Leo, King of 
wine. Someone is Leo. Someone has Leo and Libra highly aspected. I feel like you, you're, you're trying to break someone or make or or, or make somebody feel this. Nah, the universe is like okay. You see the way the cards come out. I pull it in front of you. That justice and that judgment came on top of that five of wands devil. You're going to pay for that. Yeah. The ten of wands. Yeah. You and this group of people you in cahoots with trying to put the struggle on somebody. It's going to come to an end. You and all these people will be taken out. Ten of swords, ten of wands, and then the five of wands, five of swords is the ten. And then I think we got the five of pentacles, five of cups too. So we have like four tens. So something's going to come to an end. This is not going to be. Something's going to backfire majorly on you and everyone you're involved with. And that's on everything. You can mark my words this day and everything. You can mark it. Yeah, the death card. Okay. You can mark that. You could you could put that on the calendar. Because this is uncalled for. This is for no reason. Because somebody's the king of pentacles or they have this new love, king of pentacles in their life, or they're they're abundant or they're doing well for themselves. Yeah, the four of pentacles in the night. Yeah. Or somebody has a lot of money or savings or somebody does well for themselves. Yeah. They deserve this. They work fucking hard for it. The nine of pentacles gets every pentacle out the fucking mud. They had to work. To get this, and the universe is not going to let you take somebody's destiny from them. The judgment card is here. The ace of pentacles is here. This is somebody's north node. They're chosen. They're called to do this. And there's nothing yet. I said ace, uh, I said north node, and there's the ace of pentacles. Opportunities are still going to come. Yep, ten of cups to this person. They're going to have complete emotional fulfillment always. They've already passed and completed the test of being in poverty or being abused, beat down, hated on, and, and, and all that. They already went through all that, and they passed the test with fine fucking colors. They're initiated, and once you are initiated, since you bitches are so smart, you don't go back. You keep moving forward. Somebody has already passed that. And so no matter how much you keep trying to put it on someone, you're only going to weigh your fucking self down. And then the worst part of it is you're going to have to see this person succeed. Watch them. That's the, that's going to be the worst part of it all. You're not going to cause instability in this person's life. Nothing or nobody on earth is more powerful than God, the universe. And that's one thing you need to fucking understand. Or one thing you're going to learn to because the universe, the universe is going to make your ass. Let's see. And that's on some real motherfucking shit. Yeah. Yeah, the high priestess is here. Yeah, period. You're trying to slow somebody's money down, cause instability in their money, cause their money to fall, cause them not to win or move or anything. Okay, that's what's going to happen to you tenfold. And the more, I feel like the more you do or money work on this person, the more money they get. Or the more you try to fuck with their 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 success, their likes, their views, their comments, their anything, the more, the more it comes in. So whatever little victory you think you're getting is short-lived because that karma is on your ass. Somebody here is going to be shaking in their fucking boots when this is done yeah the high priestess and the emperor because someone's a spiritual guru they have their own business they hold the throne they're th the emperor position don't move this position is held down by this high priestess it's going nowhere 18 18 it's going nowhere you can mark my fucking words on that. So you can do all you want to do. Somebody work to get in the emperor energy, the empress energy, or someone's going to be married or whatever to this person. They're going to have new love. They're going to be whatever this is you're trying to keep from them. Yeah, three of pentacles, and they're going to continue to get promoted. They're going to continue to get money. The universe is going to make it come through in any and every way because it's just their destiny. Or this is just yours. Let's see what the number 18 is real quick before we get up out of here. Cause I'm over this reading. Cause this be this hateful ass shit. This, this destructive y'all Scorpios be on some destructive ass shit. And Aries too. Trying to destroy other people. And it's for no reason other than you a malice, malicious, low vibe ass bitch made motherfucker. You don't like what I'm saying. You're Oh, I forgot to say this too. And you're gay. So you can get mad. You can do whatever you want to do, bitch. That shit don't shake me, hoe. You're the one going to be shook. All right, we have 18. You are you are both open-minded and open-hearted and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. I am um, kind-hearted. Yeah, you're fucking with somebody kind-hearted, somebody truly blessed, somebody that, that is here for humanity. You're trying to fuck with the divine, a chosen one. All right, so what happens is what's going to happen. So those are your messages, um, Scorpio. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share.